Hello, this is for my class web, a YouTube channel that is helping learners who are studying at home. We have this question that states, a meeting was attended by 150 people. Out of these, 0.14, we are men, 0.2, we are women, and the rest, we are children. How many more children than women we are there? If you want to get the reference for this question, you can, you can check from the KCP that was tested in the year 2011. Now, to begin, let us get the information that has been given. We are told that the total attendance was 150 people. Now, the number or the fraction that represented the number of men was 0 0.14. The fraction that represented the number of women is given as 0 0.2. But we, we are not given the fraction that represented the children. Now, to get this fraction that will help us to get the actual number of children, we need to get the total number, or that we need to get the total number of men and the total number of women, or the fraction for the number of men and the fraction for the number of women. Then once we add, we subtract it from one. Remember one is the whole unit, that is the whole attendance for that meeting. Now once you combine the, the fraction for men and women, you'll get 0 0.34, which once you subtract from 1, you are going to get 0 0.66. So this is the fraction that represented uh, the attendance for children. Now, if we now want to get the actual number of men who attended that meeting, then we can take the 0 0.14 of 150, and the member of should be replaced with multiplication, so you will get 21 men attended that meeting. You can repeat the same for women, you get 0 0.2 uh, of 150 to get a 30. Now, for the number of children, repeat the same, get 0 0.66, which you obtained up here and then you multiply by 150 to get 99. You find that 99 is greater than that. All the number of children who attended that meeting was more than the number of women who were in that meeting. And now this is where we have our question. How many more children than women were there? Now, to get, uh, to get this one, we need to get the difference between the number of children and women. And this one can be done by taking the actual number of children and then you subtract the actual number of women. So you get 69. So 69 was the difference between the number of children and the number of women, which was given as choice A. You can continue subscribing to this channel and you'll get more and more worked out examples. Thank you very much.